I'm Chris with North Atlantic Fuels and today we are in sunny Sanford, Maine checking out the Wooden Sons pellet mill. These guys opened up about a year ago and are producing a 100% eastern white pine pellet that so far has tested really really well and we're super excited to be selling it at North Atlantic Fuels. Having a local source of wood pellets for us is really a blessing because it lowers the transportation costs, which lowers the price for the consumer. It also makes trucking a lot easier for us logistically. We can come up here and grab you know, 22 tons, have them deliver that afternoon. And also it's great to support the local economy, um, locally produced heat, and a product that's actually awesome. So we're, we're super excited to have these guys. We're gonna go check out their mill uh, get a tour from Tony Wood, one of the owners, and hope you enjoy. Hi, my name's Tony, Tony Wood. I'm the fifth generation of my family that's been in the forest products business. I grew up in a town called Baldwin, about an hour north of here, but we have been running sawmills and pallet mills for uh, 130 years. Since I was a little kid and I started working in the mills uh, with my dad and my uncle, and then the pallet business kind of dried up about 15 years ago, so they'd shut those mills down, and my father and I have been working together to get this pellet mill started since then. It's been quite a dream to chase after. We are the only pellet mill in Maine that makes a 100% eastern white pine pellet. The reason why we chose eastern white pine is because it is incredibly low ash content. We make pellets that are about 0.2% ash content, so they're super clean, they don't darken the glass on your pellet stove, uh, and they are really hot, so they, they burn almost 9,000 BTUs per pound. People have been really, really happy about these pellets because they're, they're clean, they last longer, you get more heat for the bag that you buy. The process of making wood pellets, it sounds really simple. All you have to do is grind up a bunch of wood into tiny little particles and dry all the water out of it and then crush it through a dye to make all the wood almost turn to a liquid and it hardens into a really shiny pellet, a lot like a food pellet or anything like that, but it's just wood. You remove the water from it, you uh, press it through the dye so that friction does all the work and clean them up and put them in the bag and send them all over New England. Sounds nice and easy, it's pretty complicated and it takes a lot of work and a lot of, uh, a lot of steel and a lot of power to make it happen. So this is all of our clean raw materials. This is all sawdust and chips that we bring in from sawmills all around the region. So we're feeding chips through a grinder and sawdust directly into the drum. Also use small, locally produced poultry chips for our fuel. So all the heat that we generate for this process is from biomass. So there's no fossil fuels that are used in any part of the process, but all the heat is generated by locally sourced biomass. So we screen all of this fuel to remove rocks or bigger sticks or anything like that. Stuff was all chopped on a landing within the last week. So it's all fresh, it's all cut right here around Sanford. So we screen that fuel here. We will convey it in on screw conveyors so we know exactly how much fuel is coming in at a time. We can meter it precisely. So the furnace is running between 1800 and 2000 degrees. So we're burning, it's, it's clean combustion. So you have all this fire here in the bottom of the furnace. We have three layers of airflow that are keeping that fire well controlled. So in the top half of the furnace, it's just clean air. So, so that we can draw that into the dryer as we need it. The drum dryer will do just about 10 dry tons of material per hour. So that means we're putting in a little over 20 tons of green chips and sawdust on the front end. We're removing about 50% water from all of this wood that's coming through. So one of the last stages of preparation outside is the dry hammer mill. So this is taking everything that we've already dried and it's grinding it down to the final particle size before the pelletizer. So this is the bin that we use to store all of our material that's ready to be pelletized. So this is the material that's ready to go into the pellet press. It's at finished moisture content. Particle size is nice and distributed, so you have some bigger particles, some smaller particles, but not a lot of really fine stuff, and not a lot of really big stuff. So this is the pellet mill. 
This makes every pellet that we use here. We have one large machine that crushes all this wood through and turns them into pellets. From the pelletizer, we convey the pellets into the cooler. We cool them down to ambient temperature as quickly as possible. That helps to make them even more durable, makes them last a lot longer. So this is a screener, which takes all the pellets that have all the dust and all the small particles and all that, and cleans them all up before they go into the bag. Our packaging process was put together using a lot of research. So we looked at how a lot of other people in the industry were doing it. We listened to our customers. The bags themselves, we got a, a healthy balance where they seal consistently, they, they hold together really well when you're picking them up and moving them around, uh, but they're not so heavy that the, the welds will break or that the bags will fall apart. Um, so far, our customers have been really happy about it. The same for the palletizing robot. All the bags are coming down the conveyor belts. It's able to track where the bags are in position. So the robot sees when the bag comes into the pick area. It knows what part of the pattern it needs to be moving to. So it picks the bags up and stacks them in order. So that way uh, we don't have to really adjust any of the parameters with the robot unless we're gonna change how the stacking is done. This business was really exciting for us because it has so many of the important facets of building a community, of doing the right thing for the planet, of doing the right thing for our forestry community. So we are helping to solve a problem with sustainable harvest of wood. So these sawmills are all using really high quality pine saw logs, but then the market for every other part of the tree is really difficult right now. So we're using waste products from the sawmills, we're using waste products from the loggers. We're just trying to help add value to that part of the stream, which is really exciting to us. That's, that's helping to make sure our forests stay as forests, our logging community stays strong, and we're also helping to keep more of the money that's spent on heating here in New England. You keep it right in your community. So as a brand new company, we're trying to be a little different in how we approach distribution and our business partnerships and overall how we're going to sell our pellets throughout New England. Uh, we're really proud of our pellets, so we want our retailers to be really excited about it and to be out there talking about it. And that was one of the things that struck me about North Atlantic Fuels is that the company was investing in this new market, that they were changing themselves to try to go after this and they were spending a lot of time and effort learning about what the customers were really interested in. So that's what brought us together, is that we were really focused on quality and making sure that the customer's experience was as good as possible. And North Atlantic Fuels was trying to deliver that really positive experience to their customers with you know, great service, with great turnaround time, with great communication. So that seems like a really good avenue for us as a partnership to grow in Southern New Hampshire together. So thanks for checking out this video. It's super exciting to see the insides and outsides of this pellet mill and kind of understand how it works. Um, again, we're selling Wooden Sons wood pellets from our facility in Northampton in Epping, New Hampshire at North Atlantic Fuels. Uh, you can give us a shout. We've got a website, northatlanticfuels.com. And please keep watching our videos. We hope to do more stuff like this and learn more about uh, the biomass industry.